Generating depth maps has been a hot topic lately, so let me show you how I take AI-generated images and transform them into a depth map for 3D-style laser engraving. And the best part is, it takes just one click. Two things you'll need before we get started. Number one, your AI app of choice. I'm using Midjourney. If you don't have any AI access, you can find sample images to use online. I'll tell you what to search for a little bit later. And number two, an active Google account and Google Chrome. This is required because we'll be using Google servers to generate the depth maps for us. Step one, generate your AI image. The world is your oyster here, but to get the best results, add the words boss relief to your prompt. Boss relief style images give the best results for depth maps. If you don't have AI, do a Google search for AI boss relief image or something like that. You can use it to follow along. This one here is a great example of what we're looking for. Step number two, open the program link. There's a link in the video description below to a project called Tiling Zodep by Bill F. Smith. I don't know who Bill F. Smith is, but I can already tell I like him. From there, you wanna click on whatever the latest version link available is. Right now, it's V3. This is where your Google account comes into play. Make sure you're using Chrome and you're signed in because when you click that link, it's gonna take you to this page here in the Google Colab environment. Next, we need to connect, so navigate over to the right-hand side here and click Connect. After you connect, click on the little arrow there and go to Change Runtime Environment. Make sure that T4 CPU is selected and exit. Next, we click somewhere in this document, then hold Control and hit F9 to start the sequence. An access warning will pop up, but like I said, I'm a big Bill F. Smith fan right now, so I trust him and click run anyway. Now, choose the file you just generated to upload. Once you start uploading, a lot of stuff starts happening on the screen. The Google server is going to start downloading and installing all kind of package dependencies, and it takes quite a while. So go grab a drink and come back in a couple minutes. Once everything is done, and if it runs successfully, it'll spit out two versions of your depth map, a low res and a high res. The high res version will download automatically to your Google Downloads folder, so go find it there. And that's it. There's your one-click depth map file. Before you leave, make sure to disconnect when you're finished, otherwise Google might temporarily ban you from using the program for wasting their server resources. And we don't like to anger our server overlords. Step three, using your depth map. I'm not gonna go too deep into this step because there's many different ways you can use your depth map. If you're using Lightburn or Xtool Creative Space with a CO2 laser, you wanna be sure to select the grayscale image mode for processing this type of design. If you're using a fiber laser in Lightburn, you wanna make sure to select the 3D sliced image mode. Both of these image modes will modulate the power based on the shading in your depth map and that's what produces the effect. Here's a look at a quick sample I did on my Xtool P2 using Creative Space. Unlike a standard laser engraving, which is flat, this one actually pops out of the wood, similar to something you would do on a CNC machine. Some of the fine details will suffer a little bit when using wood, but that's the nature of engraving on wood, not much you can do there. These depth map files are much better suited for engraving metal using a fiber laser like you see in this example here. It's most commonly used for making your own coins. And if you're into this kind of thing, make sure to follow Limitless Engraver on Instagram. He's the man. If this video provided you value in any way, I'd greatly appreciate if you could just tap the like button. You know the deal. Thanks for watching and go engrave some cool 3D stuff.